Hey, what's happening, guys? I've got a really easy project for you. If this is your first Arduino project, or you want to introduce your kids to Arduino or grandkids, it doesn't get much simpler than this. What we have here is a resistor divider consisting of a 220 ohm resistor and a uh, light dependent resistor in LDR and a buzzer. This was from another project, so don't even worry about it. When we put this together, the Arduino is going to read the, uh, the light coming into this LDR, turn that into a frequency to output to the buzzer, voila, you got yourself a simple Arduino theremin. So I came up with this idea when I was cruising the internet the other day looking for an idea. Here, I'm going to let you in on a secret. If you do YouTube long term, probably the hardest thing that you're ever going to do is come up with new ideas. So I came across this idea, and I put a link to it down below. And if you download the code from my pastebin, there's a link to that down below too. Look at the top of the code. It tells you where it came from and where you can see the original code. And the anyway, all I did was simplify it. The, the guy who originally created this guy named Mr. Dahl, he has some strange letters in his name. I'm assuming he is Norwegian. And I don't want to try and pronounce it, but his last name is D-A-H-L, Dahl. So Mr. Dahl had created a separate subroutine to make the noise using, uh, I think it was digital rights. Well, Arduino has that built in called a tone command. So I just went with the tone command. All right, so I'm going to plug this in so you can hear the horrible noises that it makes. And then as we... That's pretty much how it works. If we add in a couple of uh, sniffer wires here, we can hook this up to the... Uh, oscilloscope, the smelloscope, you know, and then we're going to rotate up to the oscilloscope and zoom in. There we go. Now you can see the waveform, and as I move my hand, yeah, it doesn't go very low. You can play around with the numbers if you wanted. If I turn out the light here, and this one, you see we don't get much anything at all. So, let's go back down here to our project. And I will show you the simple connections for it. It's really easy. So first of all, we've taken 5 volts and ground from the Arduino and just put them to the rails on this board, copy them to the other side too. So we have 5 volts in the red, ground in the blue on both sides of the board. We have 5 volts coming from the power rail going to one side of our 220 ohm resistor. The other leg is connected to one side of our LDR, and the other side of the LDR is connected to the ground rail. Now where those two meet, we've created a voltage divider. And if you follow that around here, that goes back to analog pin zero. So the junction of our two resistors goes to analog pin zero. Now pin four, and you can make this any pin you want, I just did pin four, goes out to the positive side of our buzzer, the negative side of our buzzer goes to ground. That's it, Fort Pitt. That is the entire connection. Now let me show you how simple the code is. All right, let's, let's take a quick look at the code. Like I said, it is super simple. Arduino Theremin by Learn Electronics, 10 January 2023. This is adapted and modified by an original sketch by this guy, Mr. Dahl. I'm not even going to try and say his first name. And you can see his original sketch there. And I've modified it. I've taken out an entire subroutine and just really simplified it. So the first thing we're doing is we're creating a variable, an integer variable called analog pin. And we're setting it to A0. 
that is where our voltage divider is going to be connected. We create another interval or integer variable called buzzer pin to four. And that is where the positive side of our buzzer is. Negative side, of course, goes to ground. Now we're creating a long variable, with, which is our max frequency of 2,000 hertz. And we have another long variable called frequency. This is the frequency we're going to buzz the buzzer at. We have another integer called read value, and that's where we're going to read the value from the photoresistor. So in setup, really, the only thing we need to do is say pin mode, buzzer pin, output. That sets a pin for the buzzer output. Then we come down in our loop here. We read the value. That's an analog read. So analog pin, which we set up here, is A0. And it's going to read between 0 and 1023. Our frequency is going to be that value, read value, times the max frequency, which we set up here at 2,000 hertz, 2 kilohertz, divided by 1023. That'll keep the frequency in a nice level. Then we simply say tone buzzer, send a tone out to the buzzer pin of the frequency that we just created in this step here. And really, that's all there is to it. There's nothing else. How simple the code is. So you're saying, yeah, but I don't have a buzzer. Okay. Do you have a little speaker? It won't be quite as good as the buzzer, but it'll do the job. So we'll put, remember, speakers really aren't polarized unless you're using more than one, in which case if you hook them up out of phase, then they'll sound like a duck. But anyway, so there's our, uh, our speaker plugged in. Let me move this up here closer to the light. So yeah, you can use it with just an old speaker, anything you like. This is a super simple, super easy project to get started with Arduino. If you got yourself an Arduino starter kit, you probably got a buzzer, an LDR, and some resistors. Yeah, you can play around with the, uh, the value of your resistors. It really doesn't matter too much. But, you know, more or less will give you more or less frequency. Now, what about if you reversed it and ran the power into the LDR first? And then this comes out to ground. So what would happen now? Well, we have a very low frequency. Let's hook our sniffer up. See where we're at. Get the auto set going there. So now... We're looking at 155 hertz, and when I cover that, it goes down even lower. What if I bring it up to the light? Oh. We get some interesting sounds. So what I'm trying to say in this whole thing, I guess, is play with it. You're not going to blow anything up. Have some fun. It's Arduino. It's a theremin. Well, it's almost a theremin. What we're lacking is the ability to control the, um, the volume. Oh, come on, get in the right hole. There we go. And I'll swap these back around where they were. Yeah, have some fun with it. All right, that's all I'm saying. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for being here. If you're not a patron, there's a link down below. Check it out, buck a month. We do some fun stuff. That's it, I'm out. Peace.